Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. Okay, so this is the tooth that's going to receive the apicoectomy because she's having pain in that tooth, testing it, and she said, oh yeah, that's the one. Just can't, she hadn't been able to bite on it in years. So some people would say, redo the endodontics. I'm not against that, but an apicoectomy just knocks it out. If you cut the tip of the tooth off, if you understand surgery and cut the tip of the tooth off and retrofill, case done. I just had a patient from East Texas that came to see me. Her face had blown up swelling and she'd had a, a root canal done by a general dentist and then they had it redone by an endodontist about three years ago and that tooth blew up again. They were going to do an apicoectomy. The endo looked good, the redone endo, but for some reason it blown up. So in my hands, having surgical background, an apicoectomy is a way to resolve an endo issue if you had an endo issue. Be sure you give the patient an intraligamental. So when I'm doing an apicoectomy, I want to know the distance to the tip of the tooth. So it's about 16, you know, approximately about 16 millimeters. So you make an elliptical incision. Here's the tooth right here. And you want it to extend up into the keratinized or unattached gingiva. So this is the tooth right here. So I'm going from unattached, non-keratinized gingiva up into the attached gingiva and making a semilunar or an elliptical incision all the way to bone. This is a 15 blade, Bard Parker, and reflect the tissue. Here's the tooth right here, number 13. Now if somebody has a big lesion on an abscess tooth, I'll sometimes perform endodontics and an apico at the same appointment because the lesion is so large. If it's a small lesion, then many times I'll just, most I may just do endodontics. And when do you graft the lesion once you've removed the granuloma? If it's a small lesion like this one, I'm not going to graft it. You could, and you can either use platelet-rich fibrin and or freeze-dried bone. But in this case, it was small, a small enough lesion that I'm not grafting it. And then I would put either platelet-rich fibrin or a resorbable collagen membrane over the, so you can see where it's come through the bone right there. And so I'm just very lightly removing the bone on top of the root. The bone's normally real thin right here. And then removing down to the root. Just a round, long shank burr. Be sure you don't damage the root of an adjacent tooth. That's when we want to look at the radiograph and see how close the roots are to each other. So I'm going to cut off probably three millimeters of the root just to be sure so you can see it right here. I'm going to, and you want to cut through the root. I'm going to normally use either a barrel diamond or a flame shaped diamond. and just cut at this angle because you want to be able to fill the retrofill. You want a space like this. You don't want to cut it straight across because it's hard to put the, the filling material in to retrofill it. So there's the tip. That's how much I'm cutting off. And then I'm going to polish that a little bit more. So here's the lesion. So I'm, I've cut this off. I've curetted the lesion, and then I'm going to wipe the area where the lesion was with a wet cotton, with a cotton ball soaked in Perigard. Just scrub it. Then I'm going to use that little tiny round burr and make a hole up into the uh, canal where the gutta percha is of the tooth, and then fill it with this endo sequence BCRM. You can use different things. You can use IRM. Some people have used amalgam. 
just let that set for a while. And then, like I said, it's, it's a small lesion, so I'm not going to graft it. I'm using 4-0 plain gut, and this will dissolve in four to seven days, which is plenty of time. It's so great to have a good assistant. Louisa has been my assistant for 27 years. Pam's been with me for 40 years, and having experienced people that really know what they're doing is makes life a lot easier. I want to suture that up nice and snug. You don't want to have a bleeding problem. Lisa, there's the APCO. That's the Dental Minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you ready to take your dentistry practice to the highest level possible? Of course you are. Subscribe right now to DentistryMasterClasses.com where you will get Dr. Cupper's greatest work and best cases. Here's what you're going to get when you subscribe to DentistryMasterClasses.com. Incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos. You will get an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos and Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference, before and after photos of Dr. Cupper's fantastic restored cases. Cases. And all of this, I repeat, all of this is just $40 a month. This is something you cannot pass up. Subscribe right now to DentistryMasterclasses.com.